Just cause something is on sale, doesn't mean you need it. Hey guys, my name is Naki and welcome or welcome back to this little corner of the internet. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a massive clear out of my closet which is why we are in an area of my home that you guys have not seen at least not in this state also please <laughs> excuse the blue tape we are currently in the process of like working through decorating and designing our bedroom so the bedspread is a little janky it's a little wrinkle we got blue tape we have like work in progress paint that's going on so excuse excuse the the work zone if you will but we're in my room because we are going to be doing a closet clean out and this is really because of two big reasons first and foremost we're going into 2023 it's the top of the year and i just love doing a big purge of all the things you know whenever i'm entering a new year just leaving the old leaving the janky leaving the crusty leaving anything that does not serve me behind in the previous year and just like revamping and re-energizing all the different areas of my life including my wardrobe so that's number one we're entering a new year but also number two, I talked about this a little bit in a couple of videos ago, just about how I've really been hating my closet and this sort of like minimal or capsule wardrobe that I've built. I kind of hate, I don't really like it. I'm not really enjoying it. I'm not having fun with my clothes and I don't really feel like they express who I am as a person, my personal style. I just turned 31 in November and I don't feel like my closet is a reflection of the grown woman I am. So with that being said, I'm kind of just like restarting all over with my wardrobe. I'm not getting rid of every single thing in my closet because there are a lot of things that I actually really do like. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's move on over to my closet so that I can show y'all the state of my wardrobe currently. This is my closet in its current state. When the house was built, this was the closet system that the builders put in. And uh, it's certainly not optimal. I will at some point do a custom closet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So up here, I have all my tops and all of my short dresses because there's no place for long dresses and coats and stuff to fit because there's this rack right here. And then at the bottom, I have a rack that has my skirts and trousers and denim all down here. So that's like the first half of the bottom rack. And then the second half of the bottom rack is blazers and jackets. I'm not sure if y'all can see like this little space right in here. These are shirts that aren't necessarily like t-shirts or workout shirts or like leisure, leisure shirts, but they don't fit properly on hangers. So I just have to fold them and kind of keep them on this little rack right here. There are fragrances right here. And then this is my jewelry case box situation right here. On the other side, I do have a series of racks as well. And on those racks, I have sweatshirts, sweatpants, jogger sets. I have denim shorts over here. I have sweaters that I don't hang that need to be folded over here. And then I also have shoes over here as well. So there's a good bit of stuff that's on this side of the closet that needs to be decluttered as well. And then in my office, which we'll move to once we're done with this closet, I do have a clothing rack that has long dresses, long coats, and then like athleisure wear. And I think that's it also like night clothes and then intimate wear as well over there that needs to be decluttered. If you wanna declutter with me or like if you're watching this while you're decluttering, then girl, let's, let's get this done together. And yeah, grab a snack, grab a, an adult beverage or a non-adult beverage if you're not of age. And yeah, just hang out with me while I declutter 
my closet. First things first, I have taken out all of my tops. So this will be the first category that we declutter is yeah, tops and also short dresses. I didn't mention my criteria for how I'm going to decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Number one, does it fit with my personal style? Number two, is it something that I actually wear, i.e. in the past, year 12 to 18 months have i worn it if not it's got to go and number three is it in good shape and or is it good quality so those are going to be my criteria and then as far as piles i'm going to have three piles the first one is of course going to be a keep pile the second one is going to be a sell slash donate whatever i can't sell so i don't do online selling personally like Poshmark and Depop and stuff like that. Maybe one day I will. Right now I just sell locally in Atlanta to like Ragorama, Plato's Closet, that sort of thing. Anything that I can't sell or that they don't take, I just donate to Goodwill or Salvation Army. The third pile is going to be an alter slash adjust. There are things in my closet that I simply don't wear because I have not gotten them altered. I'm not gonna have like a maybe pile. I Look, it's staying or it's not. <sighs> Let's get going. These are all white button downs. I know, I know, don't look. I know. This one is one from Gap. I actually, <laughs> look at me, already starting to justify. I actually really like this one because it's just like super lightweight. So I'm going to keep that. This is a dress that I got from Just Fab. And I actually have worn this in the past year. I actually really like this dress. It's just like a really oversized button down, but it's like long so it can serve as a dress. So I'm going to keep this one. This is my favorite white button down. <laughs> Look. Baby, I gotta get rid of something. This is my favorite button down. So definitely keeping this one. This is one that I probably can actually get rid of. This one is from Everlane. I love the quality of this one. I just don't love the way that it fits on me. The fit is just not perfect for me. This is another one from Everlane. I don't think it fits with my personal style anymore. I don't know. I, I don't wear it. I don't like grab for it all the time. This right here, I've had since college. I literally never wear it. It's like a baby doll dress and I feel like I've moved past that phase of my life, you know? Um, yeah, no, I just, I'm not gonna, oh, oh. She's kinda cute. I'm gonna put this one in a try on pile. I'm gonna try it on and if I try it on and I still don't like it, it's, it's gonna move to the next pile, which is the discard pile. This I thrifted. I thrifted it with the intention of like cutting it to make it a crop top. I never cut it. So I will put this one in the adjust pile. If I don't, if I don't adjust, alter, cut any of this stuff and call it the next seven to 10 days, it's getting discarded because that means I'm just never gonna do it. I really like these for vacation and vacation only like i do not wear these outside of vacation however i just feel like they have gotten a bit dingy over time and the, like the white isn't as white as it used to be i should replace these with newer better quality ones so that's gonna go in the discard pile are we still doing the shoulder padded t-shirts I personally still like them, I'ma keep them. 
This top I got made when I went to Ghana. I feel like I wanna keep this just for when I go back, you know, or sometimes I'll go to an event where I need to be in traditional wear and I don't really have a lot of traditional wear. So I'm going to keep this one for special occasions. This H&M set right here, I wore this thing like once a week for probably the first year that I bought this set. I love this set so much. Now I hate a midi skirt, a midi dress, a midi anything. Not for me because of my height. It just makes me look frumpy. So this has certainly got to go. And then also, I don't know, the top just isn't a part of my personal style anymore either. So that's got to go too. A few minutes later. The one right there with the burgundy. This? No, not that. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's time. Why? I've had this thing since college, and it's just time. It's such a clean fit, though. I don't like the way the skirt... I don't do midi skirts anymore. It's not long enough. Hmm. It's not long enough. And then the top by itself, I feel like, is not a vibe without the skirt. Like, if that was a, if that was a mini skirt, I guess I could technically get it altered to be a mini skirt. I'm just not really sure that I'm a... I don't know. It does kind of look a little expensive. Just a bit sad. Maybe I'll get it altered. This shirt right here, I probably got this thing five years ago. Tag. Still on it. $40. Look at this. Focus. A $40 shirt. Tag. Still on it never wore it just because something is on sale doesn't mean you need it and I feel like I'm talking to somebody right now this is another set that used to have me in a chokehold I mean chokehold okay it's like this free people sweater like top and bottom however the bottoms are too short mind you I'm only 4'10 how are any bottoms too short for me I'm still trying to figure that out. of a shirt that I actually really like. I like the style. It's just a plain black Everlane t-shirt. However, one day I was putting it on and it has a hole in it. It got a hole in it. I, I heard it rip when I was putting it on and I was like, oh crap. Um, so yeah, why is it still in my closet? Why have I worn it since? That's the real question. What, what, okay, gotta go. That pile right there. Here's what I've decluttered thus far. So this is the alterations within a week or gotta go pile. This is the transitioning to like houseware slash loungewear pile. And then this is the gotta go selling it or giving it away pile. And these are all the hangers. <laughs> these are all the hangers that I have now because we've decluttered all of this stuff. Skirts, trousers, and denim are what we are decluttering now. First thing off the list. This is another piece that I got custom made for me in Ghana. Just no. It's just, it's not my style. It's not giving Naki in her 30s. Honestly, most of the jeans that I have, I do actually wear. These are 
like a Levi's. I don't even know what style these are. However, they are too long for me. I wear them, but I don't like the way they look on me because they're a little bit too long. I love my shape in them and everything. So I'm gonna put these in the pile to adjust slash alter. These are the same exact style as that one right there, except in two different washes. Why? Why did I need a dark wash and a darker wash? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. This was just overkill. I honestly am not even a huge fan of like this super, super, super dark denim. So these are going to be sold or given away. I don't know if the girls are still wearing skinny jeans. I personally still am. Um, I only own two pairs of skinny jeans and one of them I really like, I still wear. However, this pair right here from Zara, extremely too tight. Like, I mean, they barely get up my legs. I struggle whenever I'm walking in them because they're so tight I, and I've had these for years and I've worn them for years. Regardless of the fact that I literally can barely walk in them, why do I have them? I don't know. These are actually another period of skinny jeans I have. These are black, but I never wear them and I'm not quite sure why I don't. I need to try them on because I feel like it has something to do with the way they fit. So I'm gonna try these on, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna keep them because I never reach for them. Actually, I'm just gonna throw them in the, in the like sell slash giveaway pile. I'm not even gonna try them on. look at this I literally have <laughs> two of the same jackets just in like obviously slightly different styles and colors but ultimately the exact same concept I had this jacket first and then I had I saw this jacket in Zara and Eddie was like don't you already have a jacket like that and I was like no I donated it already and I gave it away then I came home and it was sitting here in my closet so yeah I am gonna get rid of this one. I just love this one way more. of decluttering my wardrobe. Today we are in my office to declutter the clothing items that I do have in my office. I did go ahead and move all of the things that I decluttered from my bedroom closet into my office just because there's so much more space for me to like see everything and do all the things. Before we start decluttering my long dresses, jumpers and long coats and then also these bins that I have over here. I wanna show y'all where we are to date as far as everything that I've decluttered. All right, these are all of the clothes that I'm gonna be selling slash donating. I feel like on camera, it doesn't look like a lot. However, it is <laughs> a lot of clothes. And then I also decluttered my shoes. Honestly, it's just a couple of pairs. So not a whole lot there. And then over here, I have some items that I need to get altered. I also brought some trash bags up here so that I can dump everything from here 
and here and to here so that we can take them to Goodwill and or sell them wherever I need to sell them. Most of these dresses I will probably keep because I like them. That's actually a lie. This one, I hate the way it looks on me. Hate the way it looks on me. Keeping most of this stuff. Oh, this is the dress I got engaged in in Tulum. Certainly keeping this. Also, I still I haven't worn it because I'm like, what other occasion would you wear it for? Maybe like an, an anniversary or something? I don't know. This is a pair of like overalls or something like that. Um, not quite my vibe anymore. Not quite my vibe. I have a pair of overalls. I feel like you always need one pair of overalls in your closet, so I'm gonna keep those. I have this jumpsuit that I think I've shown y'all in a favorites video maybe, and I've worn it a couple times. It's extremely long on me. It's ridiculously too long on me. So you're going to put this in the alteration pile. This dress is like from my corporate days when I used to work in like corporate, corporate, not agency life, but corporate. And I don't see myself wearing this ever again, ever again. All right, hear me out. I have two trench coats. This one is lighter weight and it's like a lighter color. This one is heavier, like a heavy weight and a darker color. I feel like this is good for spring. This is good for fall. So I'm gonna keep both. And last on this rack, I have, I have two brown pea coats. This one is from Zara. This one is from Aritzia. This thing is heavy. It's amazing quality. And I love it so much. But the question is like, do I need both shades of brown? This one is less structured too. This one is a lot more structured. I'm gonna keep both. I'm about to go through these bins. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot I have to purge from these, but let's see what I need to throw out. Probably like old t-shirts and stuff. And I think we're gonna be done after that. So let's go. show y'all where we landed we've got three bags full of clothes that need to be sold or donated over here we have clothes that need to be altered these are my bins and my rack both of which have been decluttered i honestly didn't get rid of a whole lot of stuff but i did get rid of probably like maybe 10 or 12 items between the bins and the rack and in my closet, as you can see, there is visibly more space, especially this top rack. I feel like I probably got rid of 30% of my tops. Like you can clearly see this section over here versus earlier or yesterday. It was very difficult to see any of this stuff because this stuff over here was kind of covering it. And then here are my pants, blazers, jackets, and over here we have a lot more space as well so this top shelf had way more stuff on it and now it is only a couple items up there and then these shelves as well have gotten a nice declutter so 
lots of space <laughs> to go shopping and add more stuff that I'm actually going to wear. Oh, also, I didn't show y'all my shoes. I did declutter a good number of shoes, not a ton, but there were definitely some in here that I literally have never worn and they just needed to go. Also, I just remembered that I never mentioned the top of my closet. So that has some hats up there. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of that first one and that third one. Not probably, definitely going to get rid of those two because I never wear them. And then I have some caps over there that I probably need to get rid of as well. So I'll do that another day. But yeah, I'll probably end up with like one hat in the middle and then a couple of caps over there. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gives you some inspiration to declutter your closet at the beginning of this new year or at least just like reconsider, are you wearing everything in your closet? Are there some things you should get rid of? Or if you're like me and you're just entering a new decade or a new season of your life and you want your clothes to reflect that, then yeah, I hope this gave you some inspiration, some ideas, some ways to think through decluttering your wardrobe. And if you want to see me continue along this journey of now rediscovering my personal style and bringing pieces into my wardrobe that really reflect who I am, my style, my personality, all that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.